This is not a kid-friendly show. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, my dudes? Welcome to another episode of the Stats on Gat series that I started last week. Anyways, first thing I want to say is that I forgot in last episode that I do want to start tracking my cash stack. Because I'm kind of going for a one bill cash stack just to have, you know, it's emergency money. I don't really need it. Like, I have tier 90s, like every tier 90 except for ascensions, and I don't really plan to get them because I don't care for them. But I do want to have a decent cash stack. So, last episode, I think I was at 416. And this week I'm at 490, so I made a pretty decent chunk. What is that? Uh, 74 mil. Not too bad. Like I got pretty lucky. I was able to finish a uh, uh, get a Hydrix for my Reaper, and I got a pretty decently lucky with my Reaper tasks. A couple of good stuff here, an Enemu task. I was pretty decent there, so that's where that money came from. But in all honesty, like moving on to the stats, all honesty, I did not really play a whole lot this week. So the gains are not impeccable. Because I, honestly, I've been playing a lot of Idle Adventures. You've seen on my channel that I started doing it. I have uploaded enough videos for the entire month, about like three episodes per week. So I already have that uploaded and it's just scheduled to go live whenever it's ready to go. So I've been playing a lot of Idle Adventures and I've only been playing about an hour, maybe two max a day on regular RuneScape. So the gains are not that impressive. I'm just going to say that firsthand. So let's look at it. My Slayer, I was 118. I'm 119. So I got just over two or just over one mil actually. So that is kind of junk I mean it's decent for the amount of time I played because I've only played about an hour to two hours like I said every day just getting in my Reaper and maybe a task or two so that's actually not too bad but I really want to next week make that number much higher than one mil so we'll shoot for that hopefully because idle adventures the tasks are getting longer and longer and spread apart to finish so I'm getting gonna get a lot more time to complete the tasks and that's not gonna be much of a problem there so moving on to let's see my attack I'm 1.5 K from our 1.5 mil from a level that's approximately one and a half mil since last episode gained it is okay not too bad most of it was from Vindicta and uh, Twin Furies uh, so that's okay next up we have what were we looking at we were looking at range right okay yeah that's 3.1 I think it was 3.9 last time so I literally only got about 800k range not impressive at all for a week like that's crazy like you can get that in an hour so that is not impressive at all I'm not gonna lie but let's see. Uh, oh yeah, I did get 126 invention when the new uh, whatever you call it, those new the faceted components and shit, faceted and clockwork came out. I just did those blueprints and bam, I got an invention level. So that was pretty good. 150 is a, definitely a goal I'll eventually be going for. 200 mil, not gonna lie, that would be sweet. Uh, that's pretty much all I did in terms of the tasks or in terms of the skills that we looked at last week. So I'm here just doing uh, 34 more steel dragons here. And I just want to say that if anybody used. Oh, no, that's the anti fire. Wrong boat. If anybody used these aggression potions for their slayer, these are freaking god tier. Like, I'm serious. You guys need to start using them. I've been farming them ever since they released with the uh, wilderness task sets because you only can farm them in the wilderness so they're about they're 50k at the shop for the seeds I think they're more in GE so I just buy them on the in the wilderness shop because realistically the time it takes for the shop to refill I'm farming more than I ever need and then when I you need searing ashes as the second ingredient aside from the bloodweed seed which is the new seed and new herb from the task set update but that combined with searing ashes from wildy worms or wilderness lava strike worms is what you need to make these aggression potions they're rather expensive if you want to buy them on GE so I said fuck that 
sprayer just ran out and let's drink an anti-fire just to be safe but yeah they're they're kind of hefty in price if you want to buy them yourself so that's why i just make them if you don't have the level then i guess you have to buy them but even then i think they're worth it they're like somewhere around 100k for uh i think it's a six dose i'm not sure if it's a six dose or four dose i don't know but it's around 100k each so that factors if it's a four dose that's 25k per six minutes and that's totally worth it at most slayer tests you're definitely making up that difference every single time so I would say even at the four dose price it's still worth it if that's what the price is I'm not too sure like I said it could be the six dose if it's a six dose then even better but these aggression potions you should not be sleeping on them they like really help I can AFK the shit out of tasks especially tasks like abyssal demons with a scythe oh my god that shit is fast that is crazy so I just wanted to do a little PSA on that those potions these potions right here aggression potions do not sleep on them they really help i can afk so much slayer and it makes life so much easier which is funny because they used to have like a treasure hunter update a scrimshaw that would do the same thing i guess they totally shit it on that which is good because like a lot of people i know they complain about like oh this should have been in-game content and not treasure hunter content and i understand that it totally makes sense and i agree with them that the vast majority of the time so it is glad to see that what was originally a something you could only get from treasure hunter is now something you can get actually playing the game and it is very overpowered <laughs> like I don't know I can't sell it up enough it's really that good but anyways what's going on with the channel I want to talk about actually switching gears a little bit is that I have a decently set schedule going on and we're gonna use it for a while at least for this month it may be subject to change later on but it's working now so I have no reason to change it is I'll do a rundown right now of what we're gonna expect for the channel so uh, the weekly um, setup is gonna be like Monday is gonna always be a game update so I'm gonna make a video on that obviously it might be Tuesday because they get bank holidays sometimes and there might not even be an update that week so I might not make I won't make a video that week obviously but if available Monday slot is gonna be a game update video all the time that's definitely gonna happen Tuesday we have the first idle adventures uh, episode of the week so that is going to be um, like I said uh Tuesday. Sorry. Mind blank. So that's going to be Tuesday and Wednesday we have our stats on gats videos like we have today. I mean, it's Wednesday for me, but I think for most people it's going to be later because right now it's 9 p.m. where I'm at. And by the time this video goes live, it's probably going to be maybe around 11 o'clock my time. So if most of the world it's gonna be Thursday but I'm just following based on my time so Wednesday is gonna be the stats on gets videos for my location and then either way it doesn't really matter because the order is gonna still change no matter your times or the order, order is still gonna be the same no matter your time zone so you're gonna get the game updates for the beginning of the week oh I'm already done already done good Oh, one thing I just want to note really quick. I'm interjecting it for a second, but when you have this aggression potion active, do not get your slayer task. See, I got two minutes left. Do not get your slayer task because you will get attacked by those, uh, what do you call it? Um, elves. You will get attacked by elves and it will not be a good thing. You will get wrecked because they will be aggressive towards you and you will get the okie doke so I just want to high out this real quick so like I said the order's not going to change regardless of what time zone you may be in first update of the week is game update week or whatever game update video next we have episode one or the first episode of the week for idle adventures next day we have stats on gets and the next day, which would be Thursday for me, is an empty day. I will not be uploading a video unless something comes up that I want to talk about. But that's a little bit of a relaxed day for the channel. 
and then we're going to come back on Friday with another Idle Adventures update episode. And then Saturday, yeah, Saturday after that is another day off. And then finally, Sunday, we round it off with a whole nother episode of Idle Adventures. So like I said earlier, you're getting three Idle Adventures updates videos every single week. And that translates to five videos every week, two days off, like a normal work week almost. Sell that for one GP because I'm tired of getting rid of this. Could just realistic drop it because I'm just like 101 coins. I'm getting all uh, squeezing a dollar at a dime every second because I just need the GP. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that is the schedule for the channel. You've seen my skills not really that impressive uh didn't really play a lot play a lot of idle adventures 490 mil that's where we're all at and i guess we will see you next week for another episode of stats on gets thanks for watching i am out peace dogs